Hello and welcome to Visions for Today. I'm Mary Beth Vermeule, your host, and on today's show we are in for a special treat. We are at Tightline's Fly Fishing Company in De Pere, Wisconsin, with Tim Landwehr, who is the owner. That is me. Thank you much for having us here again. We did a show about two years ago, but for those individuals who did not or were not able to view the show two years ago, mm -hmm. how did you get started, Tim? I've been fly fishing for an awful long time now. Um, started out tying flies basically before I even started fly fishing and it kind of escalated by sampling with different flies as a young kid then going out on the rivers and lakes and fishing with them and it just became a disease for me and I got infected with it and after a period of time when I think I was 22 or 23 years old I moved to Big Sky Montana for a summer and I lived there and I became a guide on the Madison and Yellowstone River where I met my wife and she said hey, we should open a fly shop in Green Bay and that's what we did so Wonderful. here we are. Wonderful. Now, how long have you been open? It's almost four years already, so it's gone very quickly. Four years. Four years. Huge success, and this is absolutely wonderful. What else do you do besides sell the equipment? Well, it's kind of an educational thing also, the fly shop is. You know, we have all the tackle, we have all the flies and all of the gear and equipment, but uh, we teach a four-week fly fishing school, which has been a great success. We've put hundreds of people through it in the last four years. It's four weeks, and each week you learn a little bit something different, from the insects on the river to all of the knots and fly casting. Um, we also do some destination travel. We took a group to Belize uh, last April. Uh, we go to the Bahamas for bonefish. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's <laughs> a rough job. It's a rough, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in. I'll let you know when it is. Um, and uh, we do some Montana trips every year also. And then another part of our business that's grown very, very quickly is we have a guide service through the shop, which is what we're going to do a little bit today. We'll be out on the river fishing for river smallmouth. And uh, northeastern Wisconsin boasts some of the finest river smallmouth fishing in the world. We have very, very large fish. And uh, that's what we'll be doing today. So I employ five guides that work through the shop, and uh, they're on different sections of different rivers throughout the day. Actually, what I can tell you about these boats is that they originated in the western United States. They're designed primarily to be used on shallow whitewater type of rivers where you can't necessarily run a motorboat and you need something that's very maneuverable. Now the most interesting thing about these boats is in their design, they're very rockered. If you look at one in the water, it almost looks like a banana. And what that design is, design is for is that the rower can manipulate that boat. It sits very, very little in the water and he can control and steer that boat in very shallow water and maneuver, maneuver it for, for anglers so they get the best fishing opportunities. Not bad, look at this kid. He's, he's going to town. He's starting to get it. Ooh, a little too much line. Ah, but it's... Tip down, tip down right away. Right underneath your index finger. Tip all the way to the water, Alex, and strip. Because boy, the fish has, if he picks it up and he's got slack in it, he's gonna spit that thing out instantly. Especially Keep it without moving. a barb. Keep it moving. Strip, 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 kind of just like that. There you go, now you're getting it. Get it right next to shore. Watch this, Alex. Watch how my rod is. Look at how little effort I'm putting in. Look at this. I'm just making the rod do it. You got to just wait for the cast. You got the same fly on right there. You got a muppet on. That's the same fly Bart's using right there. Nice big fish. That's a big small moth. Look at look at the size of this one, Alex. That's a big smallie. That's a nice big small moth. Well done, Bart. All right, tough guy. 
Let's get in here. Let's get you a fish, man. Let's get you a fish. It's your turn. It's your turn. You're the man. You're the man. I kind of like the solitude of fly fishing. But it's so quiet. Nice She's job, fun. Alex. You're getting it, buddy. Got to drum up a fish in here. Oops. Getting it on that line. Now, when you went out to Montana, mm -hmm. did you ha like have to send a resume with your experience? <laughs> Actually, I just went out there to live is what happened, and, okay. and I ran into an outfitter that lived out there, and uh, he and I got along really well, and he asked me to guide for him. And then I got my Montana guide's license and took care of all that stuff. But, oh, it was a lot of fun. And did people come from all over the world? Oh, from Montana, all sure. over the world, you know, because it's so famous for its trout fishing. And was that all of that catch and release? Yep. Too? Okay. Yep. Pictures just, before release? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can take a plenty of pictures. Green Muppet. Right here. And he came up and you caught him right off that bank. You see that? That's a beautiful fish. See him? Nice job, buddy. Well done. Now we'll put him back in, let him grow a little bit or bigger, so next time you and I get out here, you can catch him again. See that? And we'll let him swim out of the net all by himself. There he goes. Good job. Let's catch another one. Over here. That's a rock bass. They fight good, too. You can bring it right up to me, Alex. That guy. See him? Yeah. Pretty cool, uh, huh? Didn't we catch a bunch of those at Potawatomi, Dad? At one time, yeah, that's when we were going to shoot for this weekend. Perfect. Keep it right on the screen, that's going to go in each breath. Let's see what it means. Just like that. <laughs> Try it. Okay. Don't force him, let him come. He's all right, he's not done fighting. All right? No, he's not letting you look at your tip up. Try to get his head above the water. There you go. Good job. Put this little small mouth. See that? Hmm. That's a pretty fish. Now he's going to swim on him. 